Hello everybody, it's Aaron from GoGrava.com. So I'm using my little fuzzy side mic, but we're gonna go ahead and build a bicycle for 500 that I bought for $599. So we're gonna see if this is a good candidate for like the cheapest adventure bike you could find out there on the market. So let's go ahead and build it. Time lapse. <laughs> Okay, so I finished up not too bad. Um, the Moto Bikane that I put together there, uh, the front derailleur was wacky. They just didn't, they didn't do it right. And, you know, for some of you putting this bike together, it'll be, everything will be super easy. You can do it super, super easy, except for that front shifter part, which takes a bit of work. And that's where you may need a local bike shop. Um, basically, you just got to loosen that cable, push that thing in as far as you can, tighten the cable, and use a zip tie. That's what I found helps me out is I just grabbed a zip tie and put that together. But first impressions is packed well, no damage, and easy to put together. Uh, double checked all the bolts that were tightened on the bike. They had tightened, so no problems there. So let's pause here for a second and I'll tell you why I bought this bicycle and why it might be a good candidate for the cheapest adventure bike out there. Okay, so I'm sitting down, everybody, and um, I got my fuzzy mic on because it's a bit windy today, but uh, I, I did it without a bike stand because normally most people who need an entry-level bike are going to be doing this without a bike stand. So it is kind of hard on your back, but maybe you can find some tips and tricks like I moved the bike around, manipulated it, made it a bit easier to work on. But the reason I bought this Moto became uh, CX-3 for $5.99. Again, I don't know how they're making money, but... We got one, two, three bolts on the front, two top two bolts, two bolts for water bottles here, water bottles here, water bottles here, and then we got two mounts underneath, but they don't have any bolts. So I got to find some bolts for that because you're going to get water and all kinds of stuff in here without the bolts. So that's the only bad thing. I noticed now this is a cheaper bicycle, but we also have bolts up here and we have a screw hole down in the back. And the reason for that is, is because if I want to do some commuting or grocery shopping, you can put this little guy on the back, screws in, down to these bottom mounts, and then there's a part here that screws it in here for this bottom mounts. And it's also, this rack mount system has a cover here, so when you get water and stuff, it's just really going to hit here instead of on your back and kind of help protect you a bit. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use the, um, the pedals that came with it. So, again, trying to keep costs down. We don't have clip-in pedals. We don't need to buy new shoes. Uh, the gearing in the back is 32 gears. It's your biggest gear. And I think we might have uh, 30 in the front, so it's okay. Uh, but if you have a heavy load, that's probably not enough to climb, like, really steep mountains or anything like that. Um, mechanical disc brakes, which work fine. They're not as great as hydraulic disc brakes, but that's fine. Really low grade Shimano Claris uh, shifters, but and you also have uh, not electronic shifting, you have uh, the cables uh, which take adjustment over time. After I ride this for a bit, it's going to take adjustment. So let's go ahead now that we know why I bought this bike, and I think it might be the cheapest adventure bike. Let me go ahead and take some Grava bags and put them on our bicycle here and see the different kind of configurations we can do for the different types of adventures that we may go on on this bicycle. Okay, so I have all my shorts now. This is what I'd wear if I was commuting or just riding around. You know, nice loose shirt. Uh, sweat won't stick to it, it'll just permeate out. And then uh, I got my Grava 
mountain bike shorts. So we got the shorts on the inside and then the short layer on the outside. So I look pretty normal wearing normal shoes with my normal pedals. And so what we have is our Panier set, $110. It's a medium range price for a high quality bag. These are waterproof and will keep everything you have dry and they hook up to a normal system that connects to your bicycle on the back. On top is the backpack we have for $89. This is a Colombian, more like a rucksack, but you can clip it to the top of your bike. And then I'll just go ahead and unclip this guy here. Uh, two clips come off and then clip them back together. And this is everything like if you needed to go to work or you wanted to go to the grocery store and then uh, pretty much for our backpack, it's super easy. Clip on, clip on. Same thing with the bottom. We just line up our clips these are underneath, clip it and clip it. And I got it crooked there, but and then we can put it on our backpack and we can ride to work. We ride the grocery store, ride it wherever we want. Really comfortable. And we got our panniers in the back. And basically the system for the panniers, they just clip onto the side of your pannier rack. And we have a over a clip over the top and then two clips on the side. So this is really simple waterproof system where you just put your stuff inside, fold it over the top a couple of times so it's snug, and then you clip it in. And the other great thing about this system here with these pannier bags is that these straps on our backpack, they can clip in to the pannier system or actually we're providing our own backpack straps with each pannier bag or each pannier set. So you can then use this as a backpack if you want. Now, I would have a top tube bag for Grava. As you can see, we have a bunch of bags out here. Our top tube bag is just not there yet. We're still in the design phase. Top tube bags are difficult to make. So if you want to be part of the prototyping process, uh, please contact us. Uh, I got some more bags coming in. I need to prototype them out. So send an email to support at gograva.com. And uh, I'll send an email to everybody about a founder's shirt because all the founders can be included automatically in the prototype process. And you won't have to pay for this. I'll just ship it to you. You can test it and use it out. Uh, so Grava is also making bike packing bags and for the back seat frame cases. And the great thing about all this is handmade in Colombia. So handmade stuff in Colombia, in South America, supporting American manufacturing, North, Central, and South America. That's what Grava is all about. So I am using the Apidura right now. Apidura makes the best bags. They're a premium price, but I'm telling you, they make awesome bags. I love Apidura. So um, I'm going to use Apidura for now until we can make something that at least tries to compete with Apidura in the future. So that's what we have. What are we talking total price? So I spent, let's say, $600 for the bicycle, uh, $110 for the panniers, $65 for the uh, rack on the back of the bicycle, $89 for the backpack. If you buy the mountain bike shorts, they're $115. You don't need them. And uh, the shirt's $31 if you need to get the shirt. And you can choose to get the top two bag or not. But with the helmet, maybe $30 for the helmet. And then a high-vis shirt. Just to make sure everybody sees you out in the road, you know, that could be another $30. So you could do a full commuting package, I think the cheapest possible way. If you don't have a bicycle and you want to start with something new, something solid and sturdy, this Moto Bikane, we're going to test it over this summer and see how it holds up. But we're looking at $1,000 for everything. And normally people will pay three, dollars $4,000 for the same thing we're about to do for anywhere from $1,000 to $1,300. So that's really a cost savings to you. So thanks everybody. I'm gonna do some more videos in the future, but we will have products probably in the next month. I'm um, hoping by the end of July that we can start selling in our store. Some of them will be delayed because some of these still need some changes and tweaks and stuff like that. But 
we'll get it to you. And I can't wait for the Grava hats. This is a blank cat, but we're going to get some Grava hats out there too. All right. Bye.